What up, world? What up, me? This is Dre Wise. Come at like this. Dre Wise Topics this evening. What up, YouTube? I want to talk about this topic, you know what I'm saying, which is true, which is dangerous, and life-threatening, and it's a killer. Topic is <clears throat> HIV, AIDS. Sex is dangerous in today's world. Now, I want to talk about HIV and AIDS. There are people in the world that are positive of HIV and AIDS. There is no cure for them disease, them life-threatening and killer, you know, disease. There's no cure. The medicine that they give to these people that are positive, that got HIV and AIDS, is not designed to cure you. It's not designed to fix the problem of cure. You know, it's only to the design to give you stability of helping you to live longer. That's it. You know, in all honesty, you are still sick and you are still slowly dying. You know what I'm saying? You're dying slow. You know what I'm saying? HIV and AIDS is an immune system destroyer. You know, destroyer. There's people out in the world that have been having sex unprotected by a lot of people. And they wind up getting it from somebody that has it. There's some people that got it from sharing needles that they was injecting themselves of drugs. Dope. They passed that needle to that, that person, whatever, you know. Now, men, famous men, celebrity men. Two men, Magic Johnson, he got HIV. Easy E, he died from full blown AIDS. You know, Magic Johnson, you know, when he was fooling around and dealing with all the women, messing around on his wife, you know, all the women. Magic Johnson wasn't in no dope. You know what I'm saying? I don't think. He wasn't in no dope. He was messing around with all them women. You know? A Mag Magic Johnson, he may appear to look fine and look normal. And y'all say, he don't got the HIV. He's cured. That's a lie. That's a look to appear like he's normal. To appear like he's cured, you know, but he's not, you know what I'm saying? The medicine that they prescribed him, that he's coming out his pocket, you know, the medicine. He had to take all these medicine, you know, to keep him alive, you know what I'm saying? But the virus that is still lingers in him from the top of his head all the way down to his feet. It lingers in his body. It circulates through his body. It's destroying him. You know what I'm saying? Let Magic Johnson. Do not, he do not take his medication. Like he don't take it in three days. Or going on a week. Ain't no ifs and the butt. He's going to the hospital. He's getting rushed to the emergency room. You know? For real, you know, and they're going to try to uh, bring them back or make them right again. You know what I'm saying? Help them, you know? It might be too late, you know? Magic Johnson, he is sick, you know what I'm saying? If he prescribed medicine, you know what I'm saying? This is not no cold. This is not no flu. This is not no stomach virus that you can take medicine to clear it up. 
and help you get better and cure. You know, this is medicine that he take to keep him alive. He can work out all day long. He can eat right all day long, but he is still sick. You know what I'm saying? This medicine is only keeping him alive. Sooner or later, you know what I'm saying, the world will know he's going to die from this. You know what I'm saying? He's going to die. The fans will know. Hard, hurt, hurt to say. Hard to say this. But he's going to die behind this. You know what I'm saying? That medicine, it, it helps him keep him alive. But that disease is killing him. It's hurting him. You know what I'm saying? It's killing him. Easy E. You know? Easy E. He dealt with a lot of women. You know what I'm saying? And he wound up catching the full blown AIDS. Dr. Dre, you know what I'm saying? Ice Cube, whoever in that NWA group said, easy. Come on, man. Protect yourself, man. Don't be having sex with all these women unprotected. Put on the condom, E. Come on, E. He said, nah, whatever, man. Y'all just, uh, I'm a bear back. You know what I'm saying? Get out of here with that. You know? Easy E was blowing up. You know, he was blowing up. He blew up even more when he introduced and discovered the rap group named Bone Thugs and Harmony. You know what I'm saying? He was blowing up when he brought them guys out. You know what I'm saying? He was blowing up. Easy E did not even get the chance to see their growth, see how they improve in the game. See how they made more money in the game. See how they became businessmen. They got their own labels and they got their podcast, radio station and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? He didn't get a chance to see that. Easy e died at a young age. He was only 30 years old. Bone know this. Bone may not say it, but they know Easy e had a problem. He had a sex problem. You know what I'm saying? He, he had a problem, you know, and that was his downfall. You know what I'm saying? He slept with the wrong person that was positive of full-blown AIDS. You know what I'm saying? Bone know this. They can say all day long, we love you, E. We love you, E. But Bone know, Dr. Dre know, Ice Cube know, MC Rand know, DJ Yeller know, even DJ uh, Unique. They know Easy e had a problem. He wasn't fast enough and quick enough to put something on. You know what I'm saying? To put something on to minimize and prevent things. You know what I'm saying? That was his downfall. You know what I'm saying? He had a problem. You know? E-40. The rapper said, back in them days, E-40, they was interviewing E-40. E-40 said, Back in them days, when you mess around, get up, mess around women, have sex with women and stuff like that, and you catch a infection, you know what I'm saying, or a certain problem, you could go to the doctor and get a shot and clear it up in a few days. You could get a pill, you know what I'm saying, prescribed by a doctor and clear you up in a few days from that affection or that certain problem that you mess around. You can't. Not nowadays you can't. Mm -mm. No. Nowadays you can't do that. Nowadays you at risk of catching um, HIV, AIDS, you know what I'm saying? And they were saying you could die from herpes. I thought herpes you just break out. But they said you could die from herpes. They said you could die from hepatitis because hepatitis it destroys your kidneys. When it was something destroys your kidneys, you gonna you go when, when I'm dying. You know what I'm saying? These diseases are life threatening. It could kill you. Sex. Sex is dangerous. You know what I'm saying? Sex may not seem like it's dangerous. You know what I'm saying? It's pleasure. It may not seem like it, but sex. Is dangerous when you lay down with a woman, when you lay down with a man, or when you lay down with another one, when two women lay down together, or two men lay down together. Sex is dangerous. You know what I'm saying? Somebody got something in their body that they carrying, and when they release themselves, as far as body fluid exchange, deadly. Sex is dangerous. I say this. 
If you get with a woman, a man gets with a woman. You start dating them, you start getting to know them, whatever. Do this for a test. Okay, look here. We've been dating, we've been talking for six months now. I like to take it to the next level. But are you interested in this? I get checked out. You know what I'm saying? I do an AIDS test, HIV test herpes test and test for all disease you know and I present it to you that it comes back that I'm negative will you do the same if she say no she got something she don't want to reveal that truth of that she got a life threatening disease if she said yes that's the right one for you but if she declined that and said I don't want to take no test Leave that person, woman, alone. You know what I'm saying? Leave her alone. Because you continue dealing with that person that denies and declines that test. When well, you said, I'm going to get a test and could you get a test? You know, if she denied that, decline, leave that person alone. Because nine times out of ten, she got something. You know what I'm saying? If that man say the same thing, you're a woman, you're going to get tested. Tested for age, HIV, herpes, and whatever sexy transmitted disease. If he declined and said no, he got something. He don't want to reveal that truth, that he got something. Leave him alone. In all honesty, people, men, men, should not be messing around and fooling around with prostitutes. You know what I'm saying? Should not. You know? You could tell that prostitute before you about to get a blowjob or about to have sex with him. You could say, uh, what you with, which it is going to come out your mouth clear as day. Are you clean? You don't have no disease. And it, of course, they're going to say it so fast. Yeah, I'm clean. Yeah, I'm clean. I don't have no disease. That's a lie sometimes. That's a lie. Go ahead. Get a blowjob from that, uh, that prostitute. Get head for, uh, uh, from that prostitute. And three months later, six months later, you going to know up in here that you feel different, that you feel strange. Or I never see this, this, this outbreak down in my private area. I never seen all these uh, breakout bumps. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I feel strange. I feel, I feel sick. This cold is not going away. You know, I feel weak. Come on. You cannot lay down and you cannot let anybody and some give you head. You don't know where these people been. been. You know what I'm saying? A prostitute would say so fast. I don't, I'm clean. I'm clean. I don't got nothing. Let it, let it three months go by. Six months go by. And you start discovering yourself that you don't feel the exact same way. You don't feel normal. You know what I'm saying? You will know you don't feel normal. Something is not right. Something is going wrong. You will know. And you take the test, go to the doctor's office and make an appointment. And he check you out. And he come back and look at that chart. like, oh, hate to say this, but you're positive for this and this and that. You going to think in your mind, your mind going to go run wild. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. The doctor going to say, no, you're not. We just give you this. this, this. If you come up with AIDS and HIV, you are slowly dying. You are slowly dying. I don't care how often you keep your body up, exercise and eat right. You are slowly dying. Face it. You are slowly dying. And that's going to take you out as you get up in age. You suffer from that disease. HIV AIDS is an immune system destroyer. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Come on, folks. So it's not worth sleeping around with people. You know what I'm saying? It's not worth sharing needles with people. You don't know where that person been. You know what I'm saying? You don't know where they been. A woman will say this. I only been with one or two people. She's lying. She's been with three other guys. You ask that man, I only been with one person, two person. He been with three other, three other women. Come on. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what people been. You know what I'm saying? You don't know. You do not know. So it's not worth to mess around and fool around with people. I don't care how bad they look. I don't care how fat they behinds is, how they look, how good they look. You don't know where they been. You do not know. You know? Dre Wise Topics. I am Dre Wise. You can post a comment about what I just said, which is true. You know? Like. 
share, subscribe. Peace.